I love this job because I'd love to help people. You know, one of the things that drove me to this business, what made me realize where my real calling was and what I needed to be doing was, we talked about how I kind of ended up driving a tow truck as kind of a dare, you know, and uh, kind of an off the cuff joke by somebody. And, and I started doing that and my realization was nobody ever called a tow truck whenever they were having a good day. You know, um, something bad had to happen or something not pleasant had to happen for somebody to need that. And so I would show up and I got to help people and I got to make a difference in their day. Crack a joke, you know, trying to, you know, make the situation better. And then it's the same thing with being an adjuster. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. This video is sponsored by Exactwear Training, the creators of Xactimate X1 and Xactimate Mobile. Get certified as an Xactimate expert right now at the link in the description below. You don't have an adjuster come to your home if something great happened. You know, right. you just it, it's, it's, it's something that absolutely sucked had to happen before you called the adjuster. And so I get to come out and I get to help make things better. And I get to help people in a time of need. It, it, the hardest part about this job, the hardest thing for me, and we talked about this a lot today, was these big, large losses, the the complete total loss fires. Those are the hardest thing about this job. If you ever get one, um, they never get easier. The if, unless you're just some cold, unemotionless person, um, the humanity part of that that claim hits you hard, you know. And and um, yeah. you, you can't help but think about it. I mean, I hit you hard, but you can't help but think about it. But you know, you get to come in there and you get to help that person recover from that, you know, the best you can and you explain the process. You can't tell them everything's gonna be all right because you know what, they just lost all their memories. They lost everything that they owned, okay? Yeah. But at least you can be there and help them explain the process and, and get them through it and, and give them a little bit of guidance on what to do next. Um, I get a lot of satisfaction out of that. I love that part of the job. You know, whenever I get to help people that are in a really bad situation, it's that's what I love about it, you know, and then that's that's just my biggest satisfaction. So helping people, you know, and then being there for people, you know, and that's that's just a plus. You feel good about it at the end of the day. You know, you don't run around and, you know, like you see a lot of these people that post videos that they did something great today or they post on their social media. You know, I gave a homeless man a cheeseburger, you know, whatever. You know, OK, we, you know, somehow that makes them feel good about themselves. But. Man, you just do your job every day, you know, and help people and you get satisfaction out of it. And you don't have to run around and tell everybody, hey, man, I just gave somebody $650,000 for the burned out home. You know, you yeah. don't have to do that. You just know that you did it and you feel good about it. You know, that's, that's probably four out of the five. What was number three? Well, maybe that was three and four together. You know, you'd, well, I got to independence, travel. Helping people, you know, just the satisfaction of, of helping people. And, 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 and that's somehow I was tying two together there. And I forgot how I was doing it in my brain. But, you know, that's just me. I've been hitting the head <laughs> too many times. Uh, it, there's a, there was a tie in somewhere and I lost it. But uh, it, those, are, those are what I love about the job, the, the top three things. And then, and then, you know, just I get to oh, the, meeting people. You know, getting to meet new people. I mean, some people don't care. I know some of these adjusters. I've watched them. I've gone out on ride-alongs with when I had to do field evaluations. These guys are so emotional. They just walk in. They just do their job. They don't get. To, they don't say anything to people. You know, it's like I'm here to inspect it. Don't talk to me. I got a process, and don't interrupt me. And they sit there and they do the, take the right. pictures. They scope it, and they say your insurance will be in contact with you in three to five days, and they're out. Nothing. Don't explain to them next steps. Don't don't listen to questions. If you had any, well, well, sir, what about this? Well, you know what? Call your insurance company. You know they'll explain it to you. I can't stand right. those guys. I cannot stand those guys. But anyway, the um, and and again, they're not necessarily required to do anything more than that. But again, be a human. But you get to meet people. If you get to talk to some people, you yeah. get to meet some really interesting characters. You know, I've met a lot of cool people. I've even run into people from my childhood, which was like crazy, you know, that I ran into a man in Washington State that that was best friends with a man that owned the towing company I used to work for. They were high school buddies, 
You know, that was that was a crazy connection to find up there. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.